Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. It's been a couple days since I played, and we were in this, like, shopping mall area being hunted by a few people, okay? Now, I'm not sure what's happening. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to climb up or what I'm supposed to do. I'm pretty sure there's still some enemies in this area because I don't think I killed them all. I think I killed some of them, but not all of them. Um... I think I need to go upstairs over here and see if I can find some of them that may be hiding on the second fuck. The second fuck. The second floor. So let's see. Let's see what we find up here. If there is someone up here, they're making no noise. Can't go any further. Oh. <laughs> Can't go any further up, but uh, there's someone right there. What? So, wait. Shit, is it X? No. How do you switch shoulders again? Square? Square. Okay. There's two of them. It's a girl! Get her! Right in his leg. I guess I missed. Uh, Heads up! Oh, fuck! That's not good. Wow. A absolutely perfect grenade toss with no opportunity to dodge the grenade. Okay. Absolutely perfect. I've never seen a grenade toss that accurate in my life. Holy shit. Okay, let's try this again. Nope, it's behind the bear. There, I'm fine. Alan! Push in! <laughs> Alan, push in! Alright. Well, I only have one more hit with this melee weapon. Okay. They all just ran right up. Well, they just kept running in a line up to me really stupidly. Who's left? There's another guy down there. We're still not done. Right. I... Boat. No, here we are. Okay, I guess we killed them all. The music stopped. All right, time to loot. Right, we killed so many. We go loot as many as we can. Okay. Some shotgun ammo, that's good. Yeah, I see there's some things to loot over here. A 
What is this? What kind of like a, uh... What do you call it? Not like a... I don't think this was like a... Makeup store, but maybe like a... You know, they, they sell creams and shit, you know. <laughs> Who knows? I can go down here? Oh, wait, what's this? Alright, this would've got me over here. The other side. This is a dead end, I believe. That's the boat. That would have been another vantage point if I wanted to shoot down at them, right? There was more water here? There was more water here. Alright, I was going to say, I hadn't been over here yet to loot any of this stuff. There's a door. You think? I don't think you can open it, though. Wait, did I already loot this? Maybe I did. Maybe this is where I started, and then more enemies spawned here. I think that's what it is. I think this is where I started originally when I was walking around. <clears throat> I just needed to clear everybody out in order to be able to get to the boat, I think. So, I don't think there's going to be anything else here. I think I've already done this. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any other items or anything. Can't go through there. Nope. Oh, wait. Well, never mind. I found some more ammo, so that's good. Found a decent amount of shotgun ammo here. I haven't found any items underwater yet. And so I'm starting to wonder if they didn't actually put any items underwater. You know? Like, some games will have hidden swimming areas or whatever. And that's what I was thinking at first, but maybe they didn't, you know? Is this a real mall? I don't think so, Golden Colts. I'm pretty sure it's not a real mall. <clears throat> Obviously, none of these stores are real, but as we talked about earlier, they certainly wouldn't want to pay actual money for, for licensing to actually have real stores in the game or whatever. And, oh, look at this! I'm finding more stuff. Yeah, look, I guess I just, I either, either I didn't loot these areas previously, or when I was here earlier, I hadn't fought yet. So, you know, the looting didn't make sense, but now it makes sense to come back and get all this stuff because I used a bunch of ammo and shit, right? Okay. What's weird is it's just an oddly large area for killing, what did I kill, like 10 people or something like that? It just seems like it's overly large. I don't need a hint. I know where I'm going. I'm just trying to loot. <clears throat> okay, so this is where I was. Let's go down here to the boat now. Oh, there's ammo over here. Wait, there was ammo. Oh, it's on the stairs. Steven to me, Dollars, imagine this game is like Vice City with the water. You mean like if you just touch it, you die instantly? <laughs> well, the thing is that everyone in Vice City is a wicked witch of the West. So if they get wet, they instantly melt. <clears throat> More shotgun ammo. I actually found a, a ton of shotgun ammo here compared to the rest of the game. It's actually scarce, but here there's been like three or four shells. Oh, teddy bears. <laughs> Uh, nothing here, though. Would you stop with the hints? I'm trying to loot. I get it. You want me to go on the boat? I understand. Jeez. See? Look at the stuff I would have I would have missed if I wasn't looking. The game has to relax right now. Let me take my time. Jeez. I'm trying to force rush me here. Come on. Relax. In fact, let me see. Can I craft anything? Now, I'm good with everything, but my melee weapon only has one hit. Holy shit, I have 112 supplements. Alright, uh... I can do Lucimo most speed and endure, if I want. Crab more smoke bombs. I, I don't even use them, so I don't care about that. 
Faster stealth kills could be very important. Hold your breath and craft more arrows. Improve chat mine. Improve Maltos. Yeah, let's do... Let's do faster stealth kills. That could be really, really important. Ah, specialist. I got a, a silver trophy. Probably for completing one of the trees. And let's be... I get the ability to hold my breath. There you go. Okay. Two upgrades. Please, please. There we go. Uh... All right, into the raging rapids. Look at this. <laughs> the flooded mall. Steady. So this is going to be the expressway down to the shoreline, I guess. I doubt... It doesn't look like there's anywhere you can stop and loot. Right? It doesn't look like you just need to keep going. Okay. No one's following. Right. There's the Ferris wheel. Maybe I'm wrong. Hold on. Look at this. There might be some optional stuff here. Right? Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Am I upset? No, I'm not upset. Why are you saying that? Why does someone say it? Asking if I'm upset. I'm not upset at all. I'm not upset. People are joking now. Hello, Hubby Gaming. How are you? Uh, ice cream truck. Hey, remember she asked about that in the first game? They were talking about ice cream trucks in the first game. I'm surprised she's not saying anything about it now that there's a reference to the first game talking about an ice cream truck. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to go in there? I think so. Ah, shit. So, uh, Hollywood Wolf Joey says the only good thing about the game is how people react to being, like, stabbed in certain areas and stuff. Like, if you, you know, stab them in the throat, it looks realistic. He says, sadly, it's ruined by an incompetent writer. Well, I'm sure some people would agree with you. Some would disagree. I don't know if I'm supposed to loot this or not. It looks like a dead end over there. Yeah, it looks like that's a dead end uh, with, that, with that bus. <clears throat> Anything here? A wrench. I guess I'll take it. Because my my weapon only has one hit left anyway. <clears throat> now I just need to find a piece of tape in order to upgrade it. <clears throat> I can't see. Camera's being stupid. There we go. Please go through. Dead end. <clears throat> she goes over barbed wire in the boat. Uh, Fruit So Seven Series. I played the game. I beat it in three days. I'm very disappointed. I still love Naughty Dog games. They're my favorite and probably always will be because I love Ellie and Dina. Shadow the Hedgehog did a 500-bit cheer and says, I think this game would have been better if talking about stuff in the middle of gameplay was dropped and Dina was a dog and the game was renamed to Jaeger X. Outside that, it's a decent game. <laughs> well, that's a lot of very specific criteria. I don't think I can do anything with that forklift. Locked. 
I mean, there's items in there. There's got to be a way to get in, right? It's obvious that I need to pull this, but there's also got to be a way to get in here. <clears throat> Whoa, what was that? Is that flash? Oh, it's lightning. Apparently, there's a thunderstorm coming through. That's actually very rare for Seattle. We maybe get a few a year. That's it. So... That's kind of uncharacteristic. Aha. Uh -huh. By the way, Shadow the Hedgehog's the top cheer. Let me get him up on the leaderboard here as I read this, uh, this note. <clears throat> Thank you for the cheer, Shadow. Uh, hello, Moonwalkman. He says, I'm catching up on the playthrough at this point. Um... Where is Jesse? Well, as a recap, a story recap for those of us who've been paying attention or haven't been paying attention. So, Jesse basically just wants to find Tommy and help Tommy. Ellie claimed that's what she was doing, but apparently now that's changed and now she's basically trying to hunt down Abby. And Jesse and she had a disagreement on that. Jesse's like, no, we should just be trying to find Tommy. But she's like, no, I want to go find Abby. So she went off to do her own thing. Jesse went off to do his own thing. So, <clears throat> okay. Beth, if you're reading this, I'm toast. I hope it wasn't those scar fuckers, but some blaze of glory. The beer hope is you remember where you hit the stash. 70, 12, 64. It's not much, but it's all I have. Well, I guess we can find it. There you are. Abby, I bid you to stop. You brought this on yourself. Okay. Huh? What was that? No. What am I doing with this? Oh, look. There we go. That's what we're doing with it. We're going through that hole. No, there's no fire axe in there. Darn. I would have taken it. It's better than the wrench. Okay. Aha. Alright, so some optional items. I think the wrench is better than the hammer. It's got five hits, it looks like. Golden Colts Charity said, This cheer is sponsored by Jack Daniels, little number seven, Tennessee Sour Mash Whiskey. Thanks for the cheer. Mr. Fucking Chicken tip the dollars. Honest question. What if someone in the Make-A-Wish program wanted to see you and hang out with you for their wish? If it was legit, I guess I would consider it. If it were legit, but that would be a pretty bad wish, in my opinion. I don't think I'm going to want to spend time with. You want to stay as far away from me as possible, just the stench alone. Okay. No, you can't go out there. So, I gotta find where this, this stash is that he's talking about. I don't know where it is right now. Maybe we can find it through here. Okay. Where's this go? Goes to the other side. Yep. That's how you get in here. I almost, I almost landed on the, on the safe. Full. And now we got this seventy twelve sixty four. Okay. Supplements, shotgun ammo, crafting components, and alcohol. Um, I can now upgrade this. Cool. Upgraded the wrench. 
need more tape in order to make more arrows. But I have three explosive arrows at this point. Not enough, not enough supplements to do anything. I found some good crafting components, so maybe if I find a bench, I'll be able to upgrade a weapon. I haven't done it in a while now. Right. Oh, excuse me. All right, so that was, that was definitely worth looking around. Got a few items here. Take the boat down. Wait, an item? No. Okay. Hidden room go back, says Mark Gray. What hidden room? What are you talking about? You missed a hidden room behind the safe? What? Oh. Well, you're right, but there's nothing in it. The only thing in there is a clock that I don't need. So, thanks for telling me, but really it wasn't to my benefit anyway. It actually looks like there's a room behind here, but I don't think you can go back there. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Okay. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. I think I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Nope. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, I had to run and jump. <laughs> I got. I did get stuck there. I did get stuck there for a bit. I'm alright. I made the jump. Okay, I don't see anything else here. Okay. Let's go. What? Mark Gray says, go back as far as you can to the start on the left. What are you talking about? I think Mark Gray is trolling me. But maybe they're not. What do you mean? As far back as you can to the start on the left. You mean this? Oh, there is stuff here. Look. There's even more stuff in here. This is a pretty looted area. What is that? Oh, it's one of the cards. Okay. Sef Lofau? What the fuck? It's a squid. A giant squid. Max brains and brawn. Alright, I guess that's it. Collectible card and a quick uh, crafting item. That's all. I can't do that. Nope. I think that's it now. Man, so there actually was a lot in here. A pretty good amount of stuff in here. Okay, now let's get out of here. We're off. Here we go. Whoa. Alter, alter boat controls? Oh, it's an extra accessibility boat controls. That's interesting. Ah. The Raging Rapids of Seattle. <laughs> that. Uh oh. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Motor died. Ladies and gentlemen, Battle Duck 9000 just tipped me $40. So your, your 
Vestreak vid got me reminiscing for me. It was the good old Dead Space playthrough that brought me to your channel. It was that first big tentacle boss of the big round room where you have to use zero grab after. I remember that. I remember that definitely. Dead Space is a really good, a really good game. I miss it. I miss it. I miss that franchise. Um, when you really think about it, we don't get games like that anymore, right? We really don't. For whatever reason, <laughs> they they like phase them out, and we don't see any kind of unique survival horror shit anymore. Very rare when we even get one, and when we get one, it's usually the same formulaic shit. So, all right. So, thank you, Battle Duck. That gets us up to sixty-two dollars of tips. We were at. 22, right? So you're now up to $62 in tips with your tip. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Mature Adult, for the cheer. Good morning to you. Okay. Ah. I think we won't center out. It's snapping into a place here. Here we go. Alright, good. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, D Dooley just says Death Space was brutal and the devs had balls. Yeah, it was pretty gruesome the game, but it was scary. Eh? Like I, that game did scare me a lot. The first Dead Space, playing through it the first time, not knowing what the hell the Necroborgs were and shit like that. Now, I don't know what the hell Poos and Wees make cottage cheese means, mature adult. But thank you for another chair. Okay, I can go through there. There might be some stuff to loot over here. Yeah, it looks like it. Ah, I found a bench. Cool. In the field? What is that? Oh, shit. There are underwater items. This is the first time I found any. Previously, it never, yeah, it never triggered any items underwater, so I didn't actually think there were any, but there are. So, yeah, I, uh, I got a silver trophy says in the field, and it showed a workbench, but I don't know what that means. Does it mean that maybe you found all the workbenches in Seattle or something crazy like that? Let's see what we got. 119. So the range finder people were telling me is for, for like really long distance shooting with the bow. I can increase the fire rate of the, the, the Joel's hand, no excuse me, that's the regular handgun. Or fire rate and reload speed or damage of Joel's handgun. Capacity and fire rate of the shotgun or damage of the sniper rifle. Let's do that. Reason being, I really feel like it should have been more damaging all along and it wasn't. There we go. That's all my upgrade components, by the way. Merc, 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 Mechanist, excuse me. Silver Trophy Mechanist, and I think that's because I maxed out the sniper rifle. Okay. And I can't afford anything. Alright. Battle at 9000, give me another $10 to me, so I couldn't figure out what to do after that boss fight. I found your vid and liked it, and I just kept watching ever since. Really enjoyed all the unboxing vids and the condo vids. Those are rather interesting to watch for some reason over the years. Yeah, it, it really is a shame, Battle Duck, that sadly, number one, there's no more unboxing vids because there's nothing to unbox. There's The games don't come with anything to unbox anymore. And I can't do, like, tours of my house and stuff anymore either because of the stuff that people do, you know, negative stuff. Um really messed up the trolling and stuff that happens but maybe later this year with the ps5 the xbox series x perhaps if i can afford them maybe i'll be able to do some fun unboxing videos of those that would be nice i guess so i can go here and they'll take me to a new area it looks like but there was also the other way to go right this way other way Seattle Sleep Warehouse. Yeah, like it was supposed to be like a mattresses. That's what it sounds like. Oops. I don't think there's anything I can do there. I could try. 
to see if I... I doubt these doors are going to open underwater, though, right? <clears throat> Very doubtful. Looks like there's like office, there's like an office building underwater here, see? Lamps and desks and shit. But I don't think there's anything down here. So who's the person who is taxed with, uh, like furnishing this underwater building that no one probably ever sw swam in but me? Right? Probably no one else swam down here and looked for anything. Everyone just swam right by it. I was right, it is a bed warehouse. Look, cause here's all these beds. Yeah. Probably no one ever did this. Someone actually was tasked with looking around here. Or, uh, excuse me, with, with, like, you know, making all this shit that no one would ever see. It's kind of sad, actually, when you think about it. How many game devs, they put all this detail into a game and no one ever fucking bothers looking at it, right? That was actually kind of nice. That they put actual beds in the bed warehouse and you said they go into the water to see them. Battle of Night tells it to me another $10. Thank you, Battle of Night. This is the one thing I feel like I missed out on with the things the infamous Dante's Inferno from Blip TV. The game was something else. Not even Dark Souls holds a candle to that batshit crazy mess. Well, the thing is, <clears throat> it wasn't on Blip. I couldn't put it on YouTube because YouTube said it was too adult-oriented. I couldn't put it... I, I don't think I even put it on Blip. I think I was putting it on Vimeo at one point. Um, but yeah, basically, like no one wanted that playthrough live on the internet. They just, No one wanted it. They were all thought that it was like screwed up. Now, today, I almost guarantee you they would allow it on YouTube, but I would have to flag the videos so that people knew what they were watching, you know? But I probably wouldn't be able to put any ads on it or anything. Okay. Hmm. Obviously, there's items here. this. Whoa. If any wolves read this, warn Isaac and the others. The rumors are true. There's a new infected out there. Looks like something made it halfway to a bloater and took a turn. Ugly motherfucker. Maybe all the rain out there caused a mutation. No idea. It was slow, so I put it down easy, but when I went to check it out, all those pus pustules on it exploded. Far side of my body is burned some kind of acid. See one of these things shambling towards you. Stay back. It's the new, it's the new uh, type, shambler. The new monster type. <clears throat> No. Can't go under here. Well, you can, but there's nothing there. Okay. That was his boat. Alright. Where are we headed here? Carthy Hotel? Maybe I have to swim. What the? Whoa! What the fuck? Oh! Whoa! Oh! Uh. Uh. Should we pretend like that didn't happen? That was fucking weird, man. What the fuck was that? I guess we gotta keep going that way. Unless, let me just make sure I didn't miss anything, but I think we gotta keep going that way. Yeah, that's where we came from. That was fucking weird. <clears throat> oh, shit. Damn it. Oh my god. What the fuck is going on over there? There's a statue. I wonder if that's a real statue in Seattle. I have no idea. Okay, I was trying to look at the statue. Stop trying to shoot me. If you want to fuck around, we can fuck around. You guys are going to get fucked up, though. You're not going to like this.
Told ya. One more, and I have one bullet. Now I'm out of bullets, but I think I took them out. I think I'm good. Hopefully. Anything in here? Maybe some items in here. Oh, okay. Battle of 9000 tipped me another $20 and says, No, I'm certain it was Blip TV. You were trying to get away from YouTube and AdSense after the first debacle. You didn't believe in direct capture yet. Anyway, Battle Duck out. Battle Duck, thank you. You're very, very generous tips today. We just uh, we just hit the tips goal. So thank you very much, Battle Duck, for your support, man. We, we're at, now we're at $102 in tips. Thank you, man. All right. What's funny is you guys probably remember the whole Blip TV thing more than I do. Like, you probably, you probably you could go back and watch the videos and hear me talking vlogs about it. It's been so long since then, I don't even really remember. I seriously don't even remember what I was putting on there and what I wasn't. So, uh, thank you, Battle Duck. <clears throat> uh, we have now hit the tips goal. Boomer Blue, Boomer Beige. A couple requests for Platinum. More Blue and Beige requests today. Blue, Boomer Beige, Boomer Beige. Blue. I guess we'll go with blue today. I'm wearing I'm wearing a gray shirt. Maybe you guys will be able to see it. Let's find out. Okay. Very good. All right. All right, so thank you everyone for your support. Thank you, obviously, Battle Duck, for being super generous today on the stream with all those tips and letting us hit the tips goal so early on the stream is really awesome. Um, now we can just focus on the gameplay. All right, reminder: if we do double the tips goal, I'll put on the gunner glasses. That's the tier two tips goal reward. But um, you know, not that that's going to happen or that I'm asking for that to happen at all. I'm just letting you know what what happens further if uh, if we do raise more today. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> I appreciate that. Yeah, see, I, all I remember is I want—I was playing Dante's Inferno and I wanted to play more of it, but I couldn't upload it to YouTube. I tried and they shut down the videos, saying that they were too adult-oriented. So then I tried Vimeo and that wasn't working for some reason. So maybe eventually that's how I got to Blip TV. I, I don't remember. <clears throat> Carrie. Block. What am I doing with this rope? Uh, I have to find a way to swing around, I guess, maybe? So I guess maybe throw it? I'm not sure. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Oh, shit. That I did not intend to happen. Where did the rope go? Oh, it's... it's. I see. I think what I need to do is actually keep going here in the train. And there's items there, but I don't know how to do this. I gotta figure this out. <clears throat> I definitely screwed that up. Oh, what's up, Joe? Joe just hit a 200-bit cheers in the morning, so you got a little emotional when re-watching YouTube, on YouTube. Heads up, mate, you do more for people than they like to admit, I'm sure. You always kept me in high spirits when I've been having a shitty day. First thing I always do is type in DSP Gaming. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. You know, the thing is, I, I, I really... What the fuck? I don't know what happened there. I didn't do that. I really feel that's the case, but I don't hear it, you know? I don't usually get to hear it that much because, like I said, I really feel that the people who like my content are a silent majority. There's obviously tons of people who watch my stuff. Right now, there's thousands of people watching this playthrough on YouTube. Which is awesome because I don't usually get that much viewership. And it's cool that there's thousands of people that have come back to my channel to watch me play The Last of Us Part 2. Um, and I appreciate that. But you don't hear from those people. You know what I mean? You mostly hear the negative shit that people are always saying. So, so I appreciate that, Joe. Thank you. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I throw it out here? I don't know what I'm doing with this rope. Cuz 
I'm thinking I need to climb up the rope to get into this other half of the train because there's items in there, but I don't know. I don't understand this. <clears throat> oh, my nose is bothering me today, man. Stupid allergies. Uh, I don't know what to do. I threw it this way and it didn't really do anything. Unless maybe I throw it out and then I swing. Can't bring any glass, it's all reinforced. You see that? Maybe I can throw it out here and then can I hold it? X. Okay, maybe I can swing on it? Yeah, I swing here. Look at that. Okay. Here we go. Cool. Now what do we got in here? Some supplements. Ah, note. Oh, there's ammo as well. A sniper's note? I want to read it. Why did it do that? Misha, I got word you were placing me. Wanted to give you a few pointers about this nest. One, the scars are sneaky bastards. Don't just watch the street check the rooftops. They got their own sharpshooters. Two, keep the infected alive. When the scars cross, they have to deal with them. <clears throat> Once they reveal their positions, take them out. Check out a pair of cultists and now watching the infected devour their bodies. It's fucking glorious. And remember, don't get cornered. May your survival be long and your death be swift. Bet. Huh. Well, he got fucked. Here we go. So I got three more sniper bullets. I took the three of them out, and I think those are the only three that were guarding. But... We had one patrolling down there. You asshole. <laughs> that might be it. Yup. Right. That's it. I got them all. Cool. Alright, now we can just jump down. Alright, we're gonna get back to the boat. Well, that was a cool way to take them out, right? That was. Being able to snipe from up there was pretty good. Rather than having to take them down in the water. Yeah, see, we do get a lot of rain in Seattle, but very rarely do we get thunder or thunderstorms. Like I said, maybe a couple times a year. And it's funny, because we have it so rarely that Jasper gets kind of scared by the thunder and lightning, because he very rarely sees it, and he doesn't know what it is. So, we got a couple areas. We go to the right, or we go to the building here. I'm, I'm curious what's to the right over here, if anything. It doesn't look like anything. Looks like there's glass, but I don't think they're going to let you in there. In fact, it's not real. It's flat. You see that? Look. It's flat. There's nothing rendered in that room. It's a it's a 2D picture. Yup. Dude, mind you, I just played Sleeping Dogs, and there was a lot of 2D pictures inside the buildings. This one has it, too. Ha, uh, that's funny. I want to get into that flat room, god damn it. Oh, there is something here. Look at that. Yeah, okay. Oh, all right, we got some crafting components and some ammo. Cool. That's important. Right? 
Nice. So I want to craft anything right now. I could craft a couple more arrows. But I think I'll hold on to it for now. I don't need the arrows right away. Yeah. Tales from the Crypt says, my cats don't like storms either. They usually, like, jerk up, jerk awake from being asleep. And they come running into my room. <laughs> yeah, I mean, cat doesn't know what's going on when there's thunder and lightning. Especially if it's a rarity. You know, when I live in Connecticut, that shit happens all the time. So I'm sure pets wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be shocked. But here, it's a rarity, so. the bit We're back to the Bagel Bros. Another Bagel Bros store. Bagel Bros. Bloom, Bloom Bear Creative Agency. What kind of arrow just sitting there? All their bodies are disappearing. Some are still here, but others disappeared. Another arrow. Nice, more ammo. Nice, even more ammo. This just goes back downstairs. I don't think there's anything here, but I'll double check. Yeah, this is just another way in, I think. Yeah. This used to be the bottom floor of the restaurant. You can go through, but is there anything else on the second floor? I, I don't want to leave any items behind. Anything over here? Yes. Whoa. There's a lot of items over here. I'm gonna take this and modify it. Yeah. The knife is way better. The knife is way better than the wrench. In my opinion. From what I've seen, you know. Oh, there was an explosive arrow, but I maxed out. I crafted all those explosive arrows. I never used one. So I don't know what they do yet. I haven't had a need to use them. Is that an another mural? It is. Another mural. Apparently this is their religious leader. You again. Yeah, we haven't met her yet. I guess we're, we're getting to that point in the game, though, you would think. <clears throat> I wonder where the hell they're stationed out of. <laughs> Anything here? Oh, yeah. Nice. Some crafting components. Okay. There's another ledge over there. I didn't know way I'm going to reach that. I did it just for show. There's a bunch of servers and stuff. Okay. Aha! Crafting components. Alright, we're heading down. Park clearance? There could be a parking lot here. So I guess we abandoned the boat now. There are a lot of parking lots in Seattle because there's not much public parking at all. It's much like New York City where you have to pay to park your car. Man, is it expensive. They rip you off badly. Wait, apparently I do need the boat because I can't do this. Look. I gotta go back for the boat? I guess so. I thought we were going on foot. I guess not. The game just showed me laughed at me. Okay. Ha! <laughs> Jeez Baby says, or Jeezy Baby says she can swim pretty well for having 50 pounds of gear on her back. Yeah, I know. She's like an expert. An Olympic swimmer. <clears throat> okay, here we go. <clears throat> Let 
We're playing for an hour, still not at the waterfront. Oh shit, can't see anything. It's fucking dark in here. Okay. To the next area. What? Arcade? A video arcade. I wonder if this is actually supposed to be a real arcade. There is a real video arcade in downtown Seattle. That's Push. actually... Would have been too easy. Yeah. It's actually near the convention center. Um, it's it's actually, I'd say, maybe a, a couple blocks away from the convention center, if that. Uh, and I wonder if that's what this is supposed to be emulating. Now, I never went in there, and here's why. I walked up to it. It smelled terrible. It smelled of, like, stale beer and, and feet. It was gross when I walked up to it. I was like, damn, they probably don't clean this place very well. So I didn't go inside. <clears throat> Must be their kitchen. So can you imagine you're taking your kid to an arcade and you want to go in and you sm the smell is atrociously bad from the street in front of the, the, the place? Would you be like, oh, I'm going in there. Like, nah, fuck that. So I've never been there. I don't know what it is. This looks like a bar. This doesn't really look like an arcade. It looks like a bar. Right? Does I need to open that? But what's upstairs? Oh my god. Ew. What happened here? Meteor battles. Whack-a-mole. Basketball. Moto flare. Motorcycle game. Some crafting components. Nitro race boost. Look, Jack! Jack X racing game. It was a Jack and Daxter racing game. Uh, God damn. Oh shit, there's more. Holy oh, shit. Yeah, they all got slaughtered. What happened? Oh, there's a crafting uh, bench. The turning! Oh shit, it's from the first game. This is a reference to the first game. They find this arcade cabinet in the abandoned town. And she talks about it. That she knows what it is. And she really likes it. Yeah, the turning. <clears throat> Jeremy took the dog says, Is it true that Nintendo 64 games uh, were $70 in 1996? What about Chuck E. Cheese's stench? I wouldn't know about that. I've only been to Chuck E. Cheese maybe twice in my life, both when I was a kid. I don't remember any stench, so I couldn't attest to that. But yeah, games used to be more expensive. It was weird. Sometimes you would go to the store to buy like a Nintendo game or a Super NES game, and some games would be more expensive than others. Like I remember RPGs being more expensive than other games at one time. I don't know why they were, but they were. <laughs> 8 bit. Crafting on the side of a uh, arcade cabinet here. So I can increase capacity or fire rate of the shotgun. And I can increase fire rate of the, the regular handgun or reload speed and fire rate of the revolver. Uh, man. I don't know, maybe do fire rate of the shotgun. There. Yeah. Yes, you should. Friendless says, I gotta recommend uh, Jack and Daxter play through stuff for the retrospective because people might just nominate stupid shit and we won't see it. You you should. If there's something that you feel is fun, if you want to see during the retrospective, you absolutely should nominate it. Okay. Whoa. PC cafe, bar and lounge. 
Looks like I need to find something to push here to climb over. There it is. This is like looks like the birthday party area. See, there's pinatas. See, it looks like plates for birthday cake and stuff. Yeah, so this is where they would hold birthday parties for kids. <clears throat> oh, come on. Speaking of Chuck E. Cheese's, um, sadly, they're going out of business. They call oh, oh, shit. Oh. oh. Oh no. A bloater. Another guy? I can't even see. Oh, this sucks. Jesus. One shell left. I'm gonna use bombs. stupid it kept spawning little guys I couldn't see where they were that was really dumb <clears throat> like if they had given me a legit chance to fight the guy it wouldn't have been that hard but instead they fucking have little guys spawning all over <laughs> All the trap mines, but I got them. All right. Shit. All right, now we can loot. Back to that damn Ferris wheel. Fighting Instinct X or Fighter Instincts Dance World, Fatal Warriors, Patriot Wings, Urban Rush. Pretty similar to some of the stuff that was in arcades. None of that's real. None of those are real games, but. You know, those similar to stuff that you would see in an arcade. Iron Shell. <clears throat> ah. Nice. Shotgun ammo. So I'm actually okay. In this, the second run trying to kill him, I didn't waste too much. I just used all my trap uh, mines, which is fine. <clears throat> That's what they're for. Take out big fucks. Is that it? I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything else, but I think I got all the items. There we go. I am doing well, Lafferty. Thank you. That's probably how you get out. You probably go through here. Yep. The prize room. And look what I found. Another card. Mm -hmm. 
Kazakh Bright. Kazakh Bright. Brains and Brawn. Tons of brains, no brawn. He's a villain. Okay. No, oh, those big stuffed snakes. I had one of those once when I was a kid. A big stuffed snake. Give me those food items. Nice. Free health healing. Ew. Uh, used to be a person. Turned into a pile of spores. We are like way high up now in a different area of the arcade. What is this? A jukebox. Yeah, it's busted. Anything in here? Oh, uh, yes, yeah, some supplements. Cool. I don't think I need to craft anything, right? No. If, eventually, if I get more explosive stuff, I can make bombs, but I'm good with everything else. <clears throat> I was talking about Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, Chuck E. Cheese declared bankruptcy. Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese has declared bankruptcy, so they're gonna go out. Of, they're probably gonna go out of business. If you guys didn't hear during the pandemic, Chuck E. Cheese was selling pizza for pickup and delivery only. Of course, they couldn't have people inside the business because of the pandemic. But they were they changed their name instead of saying they were Chuck E. Cheese. They were calling themselves Pascal's Pizza. Pascal is, the, is supposedly the name of the character who makes the pizza at Chuck E. Cheese. Like, you know, the, anima, the animatronic uh, <clears throat> cook or whatever. <clears throat> so they were doing that because obviously no one was going to Chuck E. Cheese during the pandemic. And they were trying to make money. Finally. Ah. There. That is correct. So far, I have survived bankruptcy. So maybe Chuck E. Cheese will come back. Maybe they will come back. You never know. But usually for a, a business like that, it's not a good sign. I guess we're going this way. Okay. 